Hello everyone. So hope you are well. So in this video, we will be discussing role of a BIM modeler. Okay. As we know, BIM modeling is like entry position into BIM. Okay. And there are many synonyms to the BIM modeler, such as we can say BIM engineer. Okay. So there is one more position called as BIM architect. Okay, we can say maybe BIM technician. Okay, and there can be another position such as Revit modeler, or there can be like any other software in front of this modeler. But I think almost all roles are same. But only the thing is, if if you are an engineer, whether civil, mechanical. Or electrical. If you are working under BIM department, so then you will be called as BIM engineer. If you are an architect, so you will be called as BIM architect. Okay. Or generally, you can be called as BIM technician or Revit modeler or any other like software modeler. Okay. But it should be BIM software, not generally like CAD software. Okay. So now let's see who can become a BIM modeler. So any candidate who is having diploma or bachelor's okay in civil mechanical electrical or maybe in architecture okay can become the bim modeler okay that means they can become again bim man, bim engineer bim architect bim technician or revit modeler like that Okay, so these are the candidates who can become the BIM modeler, and we should remember this is entry position into BIM. But next to BIM modeler, there are positions available such as maybe BIM specialist, senior BIM modeler, team lead, or maybe BIM coordinator and BIM manager or its BIM director like that. And all of these positions we discussed in previous videos. Okay, so now let's see, uh, like. What are the softwares and what is the role of a BIM modeler in any company? Okay, so as per role, see whether maybe you are working in a, you will be working in a building projects, or maybe you are working in infra projects. Okay, but your roles remain same. So there can be a common thing in between these. So as a BIM modeler. maybe you are working on bim modeling okay so you are working in modeling Th that is we can say bim modeling and you are maybe working on sheets okay you are maybe working on quantity takeoffs okay so this can be like minimum uh, work maybe you need to do as a bim modeler but also you need to produce some bim objects okay so you need to produce some bim objects that we call as family sim okay revit so in revit for this bim objects we call as families but in general these are bim objects so you need to do bim modeling of a building uh, okay or infrastructure but it depends upon because uh, there are many models are available if you are working in building we know there are min minimum there are three disciplines are there such as architecture okay structure and mep okay so sometimes companies demands like you as a bim uh, like modeler with civil for example will be working on both architecture structure and also maybe sometimes mep okay but if you are a mechanical engineer they will expect you to work on mep okay but if you are an architect they will maybe expect you are working in architecture but it depends on company so they will maybe ask only for like one discipline okay they will ask for such as architecture structure or mep you should be good in any one of these modeling things or else sometimes they will ask you like combination of two or combination of these two or maybe sometimes combination of all of these three okay so it depends upon client to client company to company and we can say project to project okay in infrastructure you will be modeling maybe again the bridges road networks okay using some different softwares maybe now let's see what are the softwares available and in which software should be good as a bim modeler okay so these are the bim uh, skills you should have 
So let's see what are the soft face skills should have. So as per the soft face skills, we know currently Revit is like one of the best software. So you should be good in any one of the BIM modeling software such as Revit. Okay. So maybe you should be also having knowledge of some cloud applications such as BIM 360. So it's a cloud application to share the documents and all. Okay, there are many versions are available in this one and these could be like minimum requirement but some companies will ask you for Navisworks also. Okay, so some companies will ask for Navisworks and some companies will ask you for to be good in recap for scan to BIM. Okay, so maybe some companies are working on scan to BIM projects so they will ask you to be good in recap also. Okay. So these are the minimum requirement. I took example of Revit, but it can be a different software such as ArchiCAD also. It can be a different software such as Tecla again. Okay. So they will ask you only for Tecla. If you are there in infrastructure, they will ask you for Civil 3D. Okay. Because these are different BIM softwares. Okay. So you should not, you should, as a BIM modeler, you should not be learning SketchUp because I see some people are learning SketchUp and TDS Max. Okay, so no need to learn these softwares as a BIM modeler because these are CAD applications. Okay, so I hope you are clear like what to do and what is the meaning of a BIM modeler. Okay, and in next video we will discuss about BIM coordinator. Okay, so thank you.